Welcome to a brand new video and it's with a heavy heart that I have to tell you guys the far is gone. It is six feet under. They nerfed our boy into the ground. Literally, they destroyed it. The effective damage raising went down, the actual damage went down, and the horizontal recoil went up a ton. So the far, we uploaded the video yesterday, you guys were liking it, it was doing really well, but we're gonna have to chalk that one. So everyone just comment RIP to the far in Cold War in the comments, I cannot believe. Rest in peace to the far, but there is some exciting news that they added this right here. I know you guys are all ready for this. Standard linear dynamic from modern warfare the aim response curve type we got a lot to talk about in this video about these and which one's the best one to use which one you should be using let's not waste any more time let's talk about what response curve is the best for you i need all of your honest opinions right now are you guys happy they added the aim response curve type in the cold war or do you think they should have left it in modern warfare i've seen a lot of people arguing on twitter saying some people loved it some people hated it so let me know what your honest thoughts are i don't mind it i feel like it's really good to help all call of duty players of all levels whether you're just getting started whether you've been playing for a couple years you're pretty good whether you're a pro level player you want to perfect your movement your shot everything the control you have over your character so i think it's a good thing i think it just helps the community overall but let me know what you guys think we might have a little bit different opinions and that's okay don't go attacking each other in the comments let's have a nice adult responsible discussion about this but yeah honestly give me your honest thoughts and make sure you guys if you haven't already like this video because it's going to be a very helpful one so we're going to run it up this is going to be the most liked video on my channel in black ops cold war so let me know what you guys think about this one and let me know which aim response curve type you will be playing on at the end of the video and most importantly before you guys decide your aim response curve type you have to find a good sensitivity i uploaded a settings video the other day if you want to go check it out but you can use i use 661 uh low zoom 1.1 high zoom for the snipers but this is first and foremost the most important thing before you start messing around with your aim response curve type but i'm going to break it down for you what aim response curve type what the standard linear and dynamic mean so with standard if you're making small movements like this you can like move at a good pace pretty fast but when you start going like the outer parts it starts slowing down so it's pretty good to use standard i would say standard is in the top two in my opinion to use i think standard is a very good one for a medium level player to an advanced level player uh just because this help like these small movements will make your character move faster so you can control them but when like i said you're trying to like whip around and go crazy then it can be kind of difficult to control can go, kind of go crazy and that will take a little bit more time to get used to so standard i would probably say is like the second best for a medium level to an advanced player and now moving on to linear what it says in the description is aim stick maps directly to aim rate the aim stick curve is that is the same as the aim rate which pretty much means whatever you put into your movement with the analogs is what you're going to get out of it whether it's on the internal part of the controller you're going your character is still going to be controlled whether it's on the outside part of the controller it's still going to be controlled so i would say linear is the best aim response curve for a newer type player who's just getting into it maybe took a couple years off of call of duty now you're back in the community and playing again i would highly recommend using linear get started get a little comfortable with that maybe when you want to start getting into the more advanced response curve types you can start using maybe standard or dynamic when i mentioned dynamic later on but linear is very good because it's literally you move your stick five percent you're character and in game aim and uh, everything movements move 5% as well. So it matches it perfectly. And that's why linear is the best for consistency. I hope that was a good breakdown for you guys. So you guys can kind of understand me, but uh, let me know if I'm doing a good job. But yeah, linear is probably the best for a new Call of Duty player. And if you guys haven't been noticing already, Scuff sent me this new controller. It's teal, it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. Uh, I'm still breaking it in, like nothing like a new controller feel. So thank you to Scuff Gaming for sending me this. You can use code attached for a 5% discount discount on all scuff products we love this i love this controller i cannot wait to get more used to it but the last and final aim response curve is going to be the dynamic aim response curve this one looks a little intimidating because it has a couple sentences in there it says reverse s curve mapping for the fine aim rate control faster initial response that smooths out with higher stick deflection so what that means is when you're moving it in like the small movements uh let me also start by saying this is probably for more of the advanced players the more quote unquote cracked players what they say that move around the map really fast will just be sprinting have to snap on an enemy over here snap on an enemy over here just making a lot of crazy movements and they're moving your analog a lot so the smaller movements will be able to 
you'll be able to move your analog or your controller or controller your player and character faster to be able to snap on people that's why it's very good for the more advanced players but when you start moving like the outer ranges and the medium to long range gunfights it slows down for that so this is like perfection for an smg player excuse me excuse me with the voice crack <clears throat> this is a perfection for the smg player because you're always in your mid sprint you're always getting shot at by ar you have to quickly move out of sprint turn around or or like turn like a couple of degrees or to the right kill the guy and then uh you can just snap on them real quick but also if you're in like a long range gunfight it helps you control that long range gunfight rather than just being uh super fast because it slows down when it goes to the medium and long range gunfights so close up dynamic is the way to go for the more advanced players i would recommend dynamic i'm gonna give dynamic a shot but honestly, I'm gonna tell you guys this, I'm gonna play on 661 dynamic and I might need to even change my sensitivity down to 551 like I was playing in Modern Warfare. So I've not played any pro scrims or anything like this yet. I'm gonna give it a shot and I will get back to you guys if I make any changes to my sensitivities or my aim response curve type. But 661 dynamic is going to be the one for me. I think dynamic was the best in Modern Warfare for me and for the more advanced players that play Call of Duty. And I think that if you want to become a better and better player you should work your way up to start using dynamic but it also depends on your play style honestly my video today was gonna be an mp5 class setup but i'm gonna have to put that on hold for a little bit because the aim response curve type was way too important to make a video on today but let me know if you guys want to see my mp5 class setup they actually messed it up they rebuffed the mp5 but they were just gonna keep it the same so i'm kind of sad about that because they're just nerving our baby i hope the mp5 is really good again so we can use it in competitive of play but we're gonna see what they do because they're gonna revert it back to the, its old form where it wasn't that good and watch we're gonna play a little rat right here we're gonna smoke it out we're gonna come here we're gonna throw a nade we're gonna smoke that out we're gonna throw another nade there we go that's a kill now we're spawning back here oh shit i stopped shooting and yes guys we are on the aim response curve 661 dynamic i'm trying it out I will let you know if I make any changes and I stop using the aim response curve 661 and then dynamic, but we're gonna have to see. So we got a hard point on this map. I actually like a hard point on this map. It's pretty, it plays pretty well. What the hell? The guy is one shot reach out and who do you think you are, buddy? Wait, wait, throw a little G nade in there. Yo, you have a cannon in this game, by the way, when you throw nades. Like, it's absurd how strong your arm is. I gotta help my teammates. They are getting trapped. They are struggling. I got you guys. I got you. I got you. Come on. We're going to break the front right here. Oh my god. My hip fire is elite for that. We got the van still. Teammate, teammate, I think you just stared at him. You looked right at him and didn't shoot. I'm kind of questioning your eyesight right now. Dropping down into the tunnel. Making plays through the middle of the map. Come on. Oh my god. Oh, dynamic's hidden already. Oh, I should have threw the smoke at my feet. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video there. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you out. And just to prove it, I am on 661 1.1 tactical flip and dynamic. I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to keep playing on this and let you know what I think. Thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully it helped you guys. I will see you in the next video. And as always, my name is Attach, and I'm out. Peace.